Okay guys, so in the last video we had set the proxy file for the video strip and we created a waveform for the audio file. Now in this video I want to focus a little bit more on the keyboard shortcuts and also on uh, simple video cutting, uh, cutting the strips and moving them around. Just the simple things that you need to do to be able to work in Blender in the video sequence editor. Okay, so to get started, there are two kinds of cuts in Blender. There's a soft cut and a hard cut. Um, the soft cut allows you to still be able to edit a file or edit a strip after you've cut it. A hard cut will remove that possibility. A hard cut is useful if you're going to speed up a video or do different kinds of adjustments or transformations to it. Soft cuts are great if you're not gonna do anything beyond that, if you're just Cutting a video and slapping things together, soft cuts are fine and also allows for if you would make mistakes you could readjust later. So to get started, you want to keep the audio and video file together. So you're always going to want to right click the audio, hold shift, and right click your video strip. That makes both of those selected. Now to make a cut, if you want to find out where you want that cut, Blender is great about being able to fine tune your editing. Now the scroll wheel is what will help you zoom in. So scroll up will let you zoom in and you can get pretty far in and scrolling down will zoom out. Also you can hold the control key and pan left and right which is super super useful. You can also hold down the scroll wheel and just move your mouse around which can also come in handy too. But most often what I do is just a simple scroll into zoom, scroll out to zoom out, and control, scroll up and scroll down to pan. So we're gonna go in here now and make our first cut. And basically what I wanna do for this video is just cut out Eloy's intro, just this section in here. So I'm gonna scroll in, I wanna get the last, or the first possible frame of that intro. So if I go down in here, I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to get I know it's right in there, so I know that I want to be right there. So now what I'll do is, with both of these selected, again that's right click on the audio, hold shift, right click on the video, and then I'm going to just hit K on the keyboard. And that will perform a soft cut right where I had the scrub bar. Now I want to get to the end of that intro, and again I want to find the last possible frame of the intro. So I again can go um, on the, the left arrow key to bring it back and that's where I want it. Again both of these are selected now so right click, shift, right click, K on the keyboard and now we have these cut where we need them. Now to move strips around in Blender is a little bit different than most uh, most video video editing softwares um, usually you could just click and move in blender you have to right click again shift right click and then hit the G button and the G is for grab and that's across blender everywhere G to grab to move anything so you don't have to hold G just hit the G key on your keyboard and then with the mouse you can just move it wherever you want it and set it wherever you want it so now that we have Eloy's intro out of here if you would want to delete things you would just right click shift right click hit the delete key on your keyboard and click erase strips same over here delete erase strips and like most softwares if you deleted something by accident you can just hit control hold control and hit the Z key and bring it back and just keep doing that until you get back with what you wanted okay so we have Eloy's intro out of here we're gonna set it back to frame one we're gonna move this and you'll notice this red overlapping that is uh, not a bad thing that will set it exactly to where those strips all butt up against each other with no uh, dead space in between and you would just left click and it would set where it needs to be so now we have Eloy's intro at the beginning sounds great looks great everything is good to go with what we were trying to achieve so the last thing I want to show you is audio scrubbing because it would be great to find out if we wanted to cut something audio wise to do that you simply 
um, go into playback down here on the uh, timeline. Click playback, playback, check audio scrubbing, and now when we move through with the scrub bar, you will hear Eloy's audio. It does sound horrible because you're panning through at not the right rate. So if you zoom in, that. But if we go back to the beginning, hit play, it sounds fine. Hi, I'm Eloy. I'm so hopefully this video was helpful in helping you figure out how to cut video. It's a very basic thing to do. Um, in the next video, we will work just a little bit more with it. Uh, moving stuff around and some shortcuts to make things work a little bit quicker But hopefully this will get you started um, Just doing basic cuts, which sometimes is all you need So I want to thank you guys as always for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video